Hey there guys, today we're going to be starting on a desk that we're going to be building this weekend. Um, I, it's just going to be a computer desk. It's going to be two and a half feet deep by six inches wide. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it and I'll show you my plans. Alrighty, these are the plans for the desk. So hopefully when we're done it looks something like this. As you can see, the... Uh, Let's see, six feet wide, two and a half feet deep, and a couple other important measurements that I've got on here. The height from the bottom of this four by four is two feet seven inches to the bottom underneath the tabletop. And the tabletop is going to be, um, it's a it's half inch thick material. So it's, it's going to be two foot seven and a half inches tall. So I've measured a couple other desks and I thought that that would be good clearance uh, when working on a computer. So what I've done so far is I have cut out the tabletop and I've sanded it with 60 grit and 100 grit and up next I'm going to do the 150 and 220 real quick and then we are going to take it down to the basement and put the first coat of stain on. So stay tuned. Here's an up close shot of this going on for the first time. Um, early American 230 is the stain. Wow. Now 
That's neat. That's going this is going to look awesome. Okay guys, I just got all the excess stain wiped off of this thing. It is now supposed to stay here and rest for the next eight hours. So I am excited to get up tomorrow morning and uh, get the poly on this thing. You can kind of see right in here where I'm talking about where that stain just did not penetrate like it did everywhere else. But I don't think that's going to be quite that noticeable when we start to get the poly down. because that's really going to start to bring out these grains as well. So I think it's going to turn out really cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to work on the legs for it tonight or not, but if I do, you'll be coming with. So let's see what happens next. Alrighty, good morning YouTube. This is day two of desk build. I will uh, go ahead and flip around and show you what we've got so far. So this is a shot of the stain after it sat for, oh, probably about 12 hours now. The directions say to let it sit for eight. So now we are going to apply our first coat of polyurethane. Let's see how that looks. Where I'm using Minwax polyurethane, it's the clear satin finish. Bringing out those grains even more than the just from, than just the stain. Cool. Alrighty, I'm gonna keep on doing that. Okay guys, we got our first coat of polyurethane on. It's gonna look really cool. The, the key to this was to put on a very light coat of poly because then you don't uh, get all the streaks and everything that you would if you've got a thick coat on there. So, what do I gotta do now? Now I gotta run to the hardware store and get some more three inch screws because I ran out last night when I started building the building the legs for this. I did get started on that, but I didn't get any footage of it. I will uh, bring you along though as I go to finish those legs up and show you what I've done. So here we go. Hey there guys, this is the stand or the legs that I've got for my desk. Got it all put together, sanded down with a 60 grit, and I'm just gonna leave it at that because I'm gonna paint this part of it white. So pretty simple design, just like the plans that I showed you last night or at the beginning of this video. I'm going to now get this thing outside, get it blown off, and then we can start on the paint. Got a couple hours before I can put a second coat of poly on the top, so stay tuned and we will get this thing finished up.
It's looking really nice. Hey there guys, we've gotten this thing all sanded up now and uh, it's finally time to put some paint here on the base of this desk. So let's go ahead and do that. Alrighty guys, we got our base or legs for this desk all painted up. I used, for this project, it's a Rust-Oleum Professional High Performance Protective Enamel. And it's an oil based. So, it goes on really nice and thick. It's a nice white color and it gives a, a really good uh, protection once it dries. It's just, it's got a really nice surface to it. We've used this same can for other things in our house and we really like it. So, I'm going to leave this out here and let this dry and then uh, go down to the basement and we will put a second coat of poly on the top. Should be sitting at this desk editing this video by tomorrow evening. Alrighty, we are now back downstairs with our desktop. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and sand it up with some 220 and then put our second coat of poly on. second coat of poly on which is going to be the last and it's got to dry overnight now and the base or the leg should also be dry for tomorrow so uh, when we get up tomorrow morning we should be able to put this thing together see how it works. Hey there guys and here it is the final computer desk project. So I can show you here what I did a little bit that second coat of poly dried up really nice on the top and this paint on the uh, base of this thing and the legs dried up pretty well as well uh, I am going to need to go around and touch that up a little bit but let's go ahead and take a look down here I've got a I think it's a four foot or five foot even electrical strip down here that I can plug all my components into. And then I just attached the uh, tabletop for this with some little L brackets, but that ended up working out really well. So, yeah, I've got uh, my second monitor is on its way to me right now, so then I'll get that put on. But other than that, I'm really happy with this project, so. I'm hoping that you guys will like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, comment below down what you think. And uh, yeah, I look forward to doing lots more things like this around the house as well as some product reviews for you. So until next time, you guys have a great day.